Okay, WorkSafe uh, YouTube again, second coat on the flat joints. What I'm going to do is do the top and bottom joint here, which is at 600, 1800 by hand. And then we're going to turn around, we're going to use the uh, 200 mil box with a twister head on the box on the side, which we can also run through on the flat joints. And you can actually see how the body works. What we're trying to do is make it easier and smarter for the contractor, which will keep him in the game longer. Right, uh, for the purpose, I'm just using a 200 mil blade to apply the mud onto the joint. And you can actually feel as you're up, you can feel stretching up as bore in the shoulders. But as you can see, you're stretching the music all one side on the bottom joint. It's like a bend and stretch. As you can see, that's arms, but it's also legs. You're really better. You're putting a, you're putting a fair bit of effort into that. As you're putting the compound on the wall, you're trying to feather it out as well, so it's not build up too much. So it's more pressure going on the wall. So we'll uh, now change over and do the 200 mil box. All right, as you can see, not new. The joints are uh, 1800 and 600. You've got a bend. You can see your whole body working doing it by hand. Uh, the glory of this twister head is that will articulate. Once again, you still control the box uh, with the brake. It's on the wall. It looks like that. So that's the high joint. You come into the low joint, you slightly adjust it again. On your joint. The next process is what I normally do is just tip it softly with the trowel. And as you see as you go on, it includes the air bubbles. There's a, a hell of a lot less effort in doing that than what you're stretching up and stretching down, doing it by hand. Leave now. We'll just show you. you can also use that twister head on a flat joint at 1200 or coming overhead on a sewing joint. But as you can see, the head's still adjusted for the lower wall joint, so we just square the head up, make sure everything's nice and tight, and away we go on the flat joint, which is. Oh. Again, just use a blade on the handle. Nice and flat. But there's your ceiling joints all done with the same handle, just so much easier. A lot more easier on the body than uh, what it is doing it by hand. Right, the reason for setting these joints up, Lewis, um, some hocker knockers out there will be saying, 
Why have you got the joints at six and 1800? Because sometimes on commercial sites, they'll split the sheets to bring them down from the ceiling so they can work. If they've got a three or a 3.6 meter wall, you'll have two 12s and a 600 up top, but they split it to make it easier on themselves. So that's that. And to apply the mud, the twister head, to save bending and how water worked. You see what I've done there by hand, and the different positions you get into. You see how easy it is on the walls, just running the mud out. And the same tool will do your flat joints on your ceilings or your walls at 1200. So anything to save the body, Ockernockers, take note, if you haven't got the tool, get one.